What's going on YouTube? This is Jordan, Modern Day Muscle, back at you with another video. In this video, we're gonna do something to my tail lights. Not my tail lights, I'm sorry. My headlights. Uh, currently right now, they have halogen bulbs, and this is a mod that I've been wanting to do for some time now, and I finally decided to do it. I'm gonna be switching them to LEDs. This is the current situation of my bulbs. They're currently halogen, the stock halogens that come on this car. And uh, even though that they look like really bright and white right now, they're actually yellow. And uh, the visibility these halogen bulbs give are really bad, in my opinion. Let's see if I can get closer. Um, I should have changed this out a long time ago, but uh, I'm actually going to be doing a big drive for Thanksgiving, so I thought it was a uh, smart to change them out since i'm going to be driving on roads that aren't going to be lit all right guys so i moved the car so that you'll be able to see the lights hit up against the wall over there in the distance so let's check it out that's the current visibility that i get you know on camera it looks really really good but you know in person it's just terrible all right guys so i'm in the challenger Currently I'm at a red light, so my bulbs are on right now, my headlights are on. This is how it looks on. This is how it looks off. To me, not that big of a difference. On, off. So I'm gonna show you uh, some driving once I get off this red light right here. turn my headlights off to see, show you the difference while driving don't worry the streets lit I can see so now I'm gonna turn them back on shaky I'm going over a bridge I'm on a uh, darker road and this really shows um, how bad these lights are in my opinion like as you can see I that truck is not that far ahead of me and it's barely hitting the truck, the light distance. There's this car passing me right here to my left. Like, watch as it leaves where the light, where my light falls off at. See that, like, the light, my, my headlights aren't even hitting the car anymore. It's crazy. And then like, if I turn off my lights, real quick that's the difference hey what's going on guys it's the next day I just got off work I'm about to install well Chaz is about to install the LED bulbs um, on my Challenger so I'm gonna let Chaz take it from here and explain what he's gonna do talk to him Chaz All right. We got the uh, scat pack, all you do is come straight off the front to access your headlights. They're real easy to get to once you get there. Your dust caps come right back here on both sides, right here. And once you open that up, then you can just reach in and uh, go counterclockwise. Chaz, real quick, um, just shot about your business real quick. We uh. We got Syndicate Performance, just opened up about a month, month and a half ago. Legitimate, doing the right things, you know, not trying to hurt anybody's time or pocket, you know, just being a fair, fair trade. And uh, do this for the power, power and pride, that's it. As Chaz is working over there, this is the product that I decided to go with. See if I can get in the light. 
the product I decided to go with right here, Sirius LED. I'm gonna swap these out. Well, Chaz is gonna swap these out for the halogen bulbs that came in my car. Um, the size for this is 906. Well, 9006. See if I can focus. Yeah, 9006. Yep. So, all right. So the dust caps are already out right there. Didn't even see him do that. This man works fast. Personally, I've installed LED bulbs before and never had an issue installing them barehanded with a bulb blowing. But, you know, going legit from, you know, working on my own vehicles to working on other people's vehicles, I strongly suggest wear rubber gloves. The oils from your hands can get on the bulb itself and it'll cause it to burn out and uh, won't be good for anybody either way around. That looks a lot better. Beautiful. Just uh, button it up, plug and play, and then you're just gonna go right back in the same hole you came out of. These LED bulbs have fans on the back of them, right there, I don't wanna touch the bulb. And uh, that's used to disperse the heat. So the dust caps that I have don't have any holes in them. And uh, basically it would just be swashing around the same air on the inside of the, uh, the headlight and it would eventually burn out the bulb and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna drill a couple holes just so that it can disperse the air. All right guys, the first bulb is installed. That's white right there that's the LED going and that's the halogen see if I can back up you guys can tell the difference that's a big difference to me right there can't wait to actually see it go up against the wall to actually see how far it shoots out well not far how it shoots out but we're just to see the uh, the light dispersion on a flat surface and then I'm going to um, take it out on the road and see how far the light actually reaches. of uh, drilling these uh, holes in the dust caps is so that when um, the LED bulbs disperse heat, the heat will actually leave and not stay in the, the, um, the headlight and potentially short out the bulb. All right, so these are the holes guys, just something small, nothing too big, just so that the heat can leave the headlight. Real quick, both lights are finally in, well bulbs are finally in. Looks way better, way better. And it kind of has like a bluish tint on video, but they're actually white. All right guys, so right now, this is the low beam setting on the LEDs. If I turn on my high beams, it illuminates whatever that is way over there. I can see way down there now. And I know it's hard to tell in the video, but I can actually see all the way down the street now, which is amazing. So uh, I'll probably at this point put a before and after so that you guys can tell the difference.
So this is the uh, light projection against a flat, well, sort of a flat surface so you guys can see. Let me get out of the car so you guys can see a little bit better. But as you can see, way bigger difference from the halogens. All right, guys, so this is the end of this video. I just want to take the time to shout out to all my 151 subscribers. That's a small number compared to other YouTube channels, but that's a very big number to me. Um, this channel is growing and I appreciate it. Just please continue to watch, like, and subscribe. It really helps me out and make sure you hit the bell notification. My name is Jordan. This is Modern Day Muscle, and I'll catch you in the next video.